Well, you might have heard the latest story that Disney Plus is getting ready to change again. No, it's not turning into a 24-7 Bluey channel, but it might as well be because Disney is going back to Disney channels? Folks will explain right now. Hello, howdy, and welcome back to the place where we explain entertainment and keep you ahead of the culture curve. And by gosh, by golly, we do it with a smile on our face so contagious you might just walk away with a smile on yours as well. Elevating your day, folks. That is the goal here each and every day. And we're talking about Disney Plus now leaning into the Disney Channel in a way that many of us did not see coming. Oh, wait. Hold on. Culture Casino and myself, we talked about this days before the announcement came out. Now, Disney is trying to say, let's say in all fairness, Disney is trying to say that this is just... Uh, a potential outcome for the future. This is not set in stone, but what we're hearing, folks, is what we're going to be talking about, and they're not denying it, so you, you do the math on that. It seems like Disney is getting ready to launch Disney channels that will be connected to Disney+, Plus. and if that has you all mixed up and not understanding how this is going to work, well, hang tight, we'll explain it, and we'll tell you why it shows that Disney+, Plus is, yeah, a failure. Disney is making a change gonna make change, but uh, they're changing, maybe regressing, going back to being quasi-cable. Let's talk about it. This out of the New York mm. Post by Ariel Zyber. And it says, Disney to overhaul its money-losing Disney Plus streaming service with new TV channels. First of all, let's all just pause here and, and yeah. soak in mm. that after the shareholders meeting, this is just normal now. New York Post, everybody, um, Forbes, you know, everybody's willing to say, hey, Disney Plus is a loser. It's a loser. You're a loser, Disney Plus. You're a loser, Bob. But before the shareholders meeting, because this was a cultural battle, and still will be, couldn't say it, wouldn't say it, won't say it, shan't say it, but now we're saying it. Here's the article. Disney reportedly plans to overhaul its money-losing Disney Plus streaming service by adding standalone channels that feature ads, the so-called fast channels, free, ad-supported streaming, television, offered by apps like Pluto and Tubi, Tubi and folks, as we we just did a video on this. We just did a video. Is this not amazing? This is why I hope you come to this channel. This is it's our pleasure to introduce you to these things just before it happens. Would tap hit shows from its vast library to create a 24-hour Simpsons option and major franchises such as Marvel and Star Wars, according to La Información. The company pursued I kid, it was the information. The company pursued a similar course of action within its ABC.com app when it added a channel dedicated to its 2020 news magazine show and other channel devoted to the soap opera General Hospital, or also known as Hospital General. I kid, I kid. Disney wants Disney Plus users to remain on the platform. Of course they do. Instead of clicking over to the other streaming options, a pivot away from its former strategy of getting as many users to sign up so they can watch ad-free content. Again, it's amazing. We're saying the quiet part out loud. Disney has given up on catching Netflix. In 2022, Netflix explored a similar option that would have created a store within its app so that users could subscribe to other streaming services, a feature that is used on Amazon's Prime Video. Netflix execs toyed with the idea, but they didn't do it. The post has sought comment from Disney and Netflix. Apparently none has happened. Goes on to talk about more about Disney+, Plus, but the bottom line is Disney is moving back towards cable because cable worked. Unfortunately, Disney, Disney never worked in cable, so this is going to be quite the challenge. Except. Anal, what do you except, think? Yeah, Lou, please. Except. Let me tell you the difference between this and good old cable. None of this is original programming. All of this is free stuff sitting in the library gathering dust otherwise. Look at the 2020 in General Hospital, for God's sakes. Is there anything deader than that if it isn't Suits and NCIS and all the rest of it? I mean, these are Simpsons. It's... It costs them Zippo, or pretty close to Zippo, to put this stuff on the air and then run ads. And so I would suggest, although I get the idea that it's similar to cable, it's more similar to Channel 13 and Channel 17 and all those oddball channels that ran reruns all night. Yeah, so this is like a UHF run by Disney. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, so this is this is where all cable boxes are are pointing these days. Instead of trying to program 24 hours of the same content and 
or 24 hours of content on different channels. There are these very focused micro IP or micro genre channels that are are showing up on set top boxes that are focused and they are 24 hours of program. They're essentially on demand and you don't have the schedule in front of you. It gives the provider freedom to put whatever they want there. If it's one show versus another show, this speaks to the problem of Bluey representing 30% of all content. This gives Disney the option of saying, oh, you're done with Bluey now. Let's stick some of our other garbage over here that you're obviously not watching. It just, right you, just, you just made the point. You know what the Simpsons channel under this deal is? It's the same babysitting function that Bluey provides for little ones for grown-ups. Yes, but let's it's talk about the background noise. Let's let's talk about Bluey for a moment, though, because here's what's interesting: if Disney wants to make a channel out of some of their properties, they can't use Bluey. No nope. one because they don't have the licensing rights mm -hmm. to do that, and two because if they did, they'd crash Disney Plus because people would be watching the Bluey channel 24 hours a day and not streaming one third of Disney Plus. Oh, and yeah, streaming well, hours on Bluey. And and if they were able to, when they renegotiate the rights for Bluey, if they get them, put this in as part of the deal. Here's the big problem: the ads, kids, little bitty kids that like Bluey, they don't have money and they don't buy stuff. <laughs> and so, unless the ads were all for, if you like Bluey, buy the Bluey plushies oh, or buy the Bluey cereal, jammies. Cereal ads are coming back, Lou. You know, but but, but uh, maybe mm. so. But uh, I don't think that if the if the parents aren't even in the room because Bluey is babysitting the kids. They're not going to see the ads. Put the well, toys I, back in the boxes. Put the toys back in the boxes. Well, well they, they are. Add, I, um, oh, ahead. sorry, Jonas. No, I didn't it's, it's fine. Go ahead. Um, I'll add another wrinkle to this. If they bring back the OG Disney Channel, and I'm talking like the 90s, 2000 series, if they're bringing back Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, if they're bringing back Phineas and Ferb, if they're bringing back Kim Possible, if they're bringing back DuckTales, if they're doing that original stuff, again, that stuff that's sitting on the shelf, I could see how that would work, but that content might be problematic for them. So so you don't think, Lorena, they need to do a 24-7 Acolyte channel or a Soka channel? <laughs> well, that would yeah. be inappropriate for children, <laughs> I, I believe. The 24-7 Filoni channel. But oh, see, the channel, Lorena makes a very good point. They look, haven't look, got enough content to make that work. No, what well, they could do is... The Disney afternoon, all day, all night. They could. But, but there's a, there's a very good do. point to be made for Dis Disney. If they actually want to lean in and, and go for nostalgia, which is the only thing they have left at this point, because we know there is nothing new being created at this company right now that has proven itself. If they did a channel that was, okay, we've got Spin and Marty here. Maybe they would actually put the original Mickey Mouse Club more than like six episodes on the streaming service. If they want to do a channel that is specifically geared towards, here's Disney documentaries. This Jim Henson documentary that's directed by Ron Howard. I'm excited that about that. looks amazing. Imagineering story. Uh, beyond the attraction. there You could do an entire channel where you just spin through all this stuff for, that is actually for hardcore Disney fans. And by the way, that lets them know who they can market to the best because the people who are interested in the backstory of the parks and the company and everything spend a lot of money. Um, this gives them a lot more information and gives them information on who is a big spender, who is not. This is this is a good idea as much as I hate it because it sounds like they're going more towards cable again. I the business case for here for this is sound because if you if you have a channel that is 24/7 bluey and one episode of something they're trying to launch sandwiched in between it, Seinfeld, whatever and friends, the sandwich in between that was a place to launch shows. This is yeah, a sound yeah, principle yeah. here. Uh, okay. so it's it's a big opportunity for them. As much and, as I don't like the company that's well, doing it, this is a I have good been idea. Saying, I since they bought Fox, where the hell's combat? Where the hell's lost in space? Where the hell's voyage to the bottom of the sea? Fox made a lot of very good, very popular TV in the 60s and the 70s and even into the 80s. That could be a channel. And it would also, by the way, when you talk about getting information, if you put three or four of those IPs on there, and one of them got a whole lot more attention, that tells you which of those IPs should maybe be an attraction in the park or a show well, on the cruise ship. What if you did Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea as a show on the cruise ship? Of course, you don't want that ship going to the bottom of the sea, but you get my point. It's a research tool, as you say, Jonas, and a powerful one. Well, I want to go to culture now because culture, you have been following this for years. You've been following it for years. 
And this seems to me that we've finally come to the point you've been predicting for years and years. This is cable. Disney is going back to cable. So, Culture, what do you make of a Simpsons channel? What do you make of... I, I don't know if they have the rights to the TGIF shows from the 90s. They, they do don't. They're on, they're on Max for the most part. Okay, well, they can't get that, but they can... What, what do you make of a, just doing Disney channels now on different topics? Culture, you're uh, muted. Culture, you're muted, you're culture. muted. But I'll also point out that Fox actually had a Simpsons channel on their uh, streaming service before well, uh, they was bought by Disney. Culture was he, trying. Culture was trying to show us what the mime channel will be like on Disney. Yeah, that's right. The mime <laughs> channel. I look. Let, let's just say this. I've been talking about fast channels and Diginets for quite a while. Diginets mm. are you know the sub channels that are on the digital uh, trans uh, transceivers that are in your local area to give you broadcast television. And, you know, they're, they're all the sub channels that are there. And they've been doing that for a long, long time. Some of those channels get tons of viewership. They run commercials and only one show. They're incredibly successful from the commercial standpoint. Disney needs that desperately. So does it make sense to me that they're going to this model? Absolutely. But I, I think it's it doesn't even stop there because I think we're going to be looking at aggregators that are going to be going to you know, uh, basically combining your subscription for Disney Plus and all of its millions of channels, apparently, and also maybe uh, Paramount Plus and all of its millions of channels and so on and so forth. I think you're going to start seeing aggregators now. And then you will really be all the way back at the cable era, which isn't surprising to anybody. Anybody who's everybody saw this coming. The, the, the Hollywood destroyed themselves to try to remake a new media uh, format that because that's what this is. It's a format. It's not. It's it's not it's not new technology, but they tried to make a redo a, a a media format that put us where we are now, back at cable, back at basically broadcast linear television. I said the other day on the video that Pro referred to just a few moments ago, we gave you a view forward. This is not amazing culture. So yeah. we did that topic, and a day later, <laughs> it's yeah. so funny. All right, tell yeah. the, tell the folks. And so and so that in that video, you will see me say the following. Linear broadcast television is currently sitting at over 50%. I don't believe it's going to fall much farther, if at all. In fact, I believe it may increase. I think you will see potentially a rebound in the cable model uh, or the satellite model and perhaps even the broadcast model because it's cheaper. That's right. And, and, and... It's really the old syndication model when they yes. would do shows and say, listen, we'll sell 80% of the time nationally. Local stations, you can have 20% of the time to sell yourself, to sell local advertisers in your town. Because those people are looking for somewhere to go without cable, without the old style. Because the newspapers don't exist. The, the local news doesn't exist in a lot of places anymore. So if I'm the local... Uh, uh, funeral home or car lot or whatever, where do I advertise? This could be the place. Well, I'll also point out whether or not it was pointed out in this article that Tubi right now, which is owned by Fox Corporation, which is what is left of Fox, mm -hmm. that was the rest was sold to Disney, is 0.1% lower than Disney on the streaming charts right now. Yeah. And which is amazing. They're mm -hmm. essentially doing the same thing on Tubi. There is on demand on Tubi, but it's a lot of micro micro genre and micro ip channels that are exactly like this and, and it didn't cost them billions and dozens of billions of dollars to get there and no yeah. subscription fees every month so yeah. disney has to compete in that space so they have to bring it and they have to bring it with quality uh so, by, by the way <laughs> the idea of parents letting their children sit in front of whatever disney chooses to put in front of them i think that's another danger that they're going to have to face with this model well, and and that's the and that's another problem. I mean, Disney Disney does not create solutions for themselves anymore. They they create more problems constantly and consistently. And uh, let me offer this up because um, Pluto, which is owned by Paramount, do you know why Paramount's leaning so hard into Pluto right now? Because it is making them money. Yeah, and a company on the brink of bankruptcy likes yeah. money a lot. Yeah, uh, they really do. So to classically sum this up, it's a question of to be or not to be. That is the <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't, uh, we can't end it any better. 
Right. Uh, Pro, I do have to point out that we will be talking about this subject more on a live stream that will be 10 p.m. on Friday evening on that Ooh. marketplace. Uh, anyone who is on this Extra panel right now. Hours. I love that show. Yep. Uh, is going too. to be. You, you all are invited. Uh, anybody here. Where uh, else would we be on a Friday night? Yeah. And folks, run the credits because this thing is done for the day. But more videos on your way. 10.30 a.m., 3.30 p.m., 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time right here on the Pro Channel. Every single day, 365. Wait, what's that? It's a leap year 366 then. Because that's the way we believe in doing things here. The news never stops, so neither do we. Folks, on the way out the door, you can help us. You can be our electricity. And boy, do we need it. Like, share, subscribe. Click it, stick it to the algorithms. It's the notification bell. And drop a comment down below. Folks, thank you for your support. We truly, truly have an attitude of gratitude here for each and every one of you. And it is an honor to share time with you in your very busy and important day. And we mean that. So folks, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing, and as always, keep having fun.